Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Pokepans and welcome to episode 26, 27? It's been such a long series and I've already lost count of where we are, but if this is the first time you're seeing an episode of this series and you want to go back and catch up before you see too many spoilers, I've left a link to a playlist down in the description and up in the top right hand corner to the all the previous episodes so you guys can go and catch up and do that now. But for the rest of you, you know exactly where we left off. We are in the middle of our uh, Victory Road journey to try and get to the Pokemon League. So let's do a quick team recap before we continue. We have Nishal, the Zoroark, with Crunch, Softball, Sucker Punch, Dark Void, and Battle Armor. We have TK, the Kingdra, with Surf, Calm Mind, Grass Pledge, Volt Switch, and the Magic Bounce ability. Chomps, the Marwile, it's a Mega Marwile, with uh, Steel Cat. Flash Cannon, Dragon Ascent, Return, Thousand Arrows, and the Mold Breaker ability, which turns into the Defiant ability when it Mega Evolves. Orki, the Ampharos with Bite, Zap Cannon, Howl, Volt Switch, and the Vital Spirit ability. Blades, the Scyther with Thousand Arrows, Aeroblast, Flare Blitz, Mega Horn, and Parental Bond. Parental Bond, and it's holding Eviolite, so like, this thing hits hard and is tanky as hell. Look at that defense stat. When you, like, it's 120 defense with an Eviolite. And it's like 90 something special defense. It's tankier than like basically everything. It's nuts. Uh, and finally, we have uh, normally we would have Mr. Whippy up there, the Vanillite. Um, but at the moment, we have Asim because it's got Waterfall and Strength. Um, so that's our team. Let's continue with our journey through Victory Road. I think we're nearly at the end. Let's just uh, make sure everyone is healthy. And let's make sure that we have PP. Yep, we're all PP'd up and we're healthy. Awesome. So we can continue on with our journey through Victory Road. So I think we need to go this way. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Last episode we managed to defeat the 8th gym leader uh, who had a massive Reggie Gigas which was nuts. Um, we managed to get through that though. Nishal carried us through with Dark Void and Crunch. Um, so we need to go up here. Uh, oh yeah, I messed up the strength puzzle last time. That's what happened. We pushed it up too far. I think we've got to push it up twice, and then we have to push it across once. Alright, so where's one, two, and then got to go to the left and then push it across. There we go. Yeah, so now we can continue up. So I blocked this off last time, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're going the wrong way. I thought we, we messed up last time, but pushing it up instead of across. Uh, Volbeat. You know what? Volbeat and Iliamise have caused us way more trouble than a lot of the legendaries. Alright, I wish I could see where we're going here. Oh, there's a TM there. Cool. We got Tail Slap. So, that's a, that's good if we get a Pokemon with Skill Link. Is there anything else up this way? Or is it just that? Okay, so that was just the TM. So we need to go back. Oh, is there a, is there a way to go left here? Spiritomb was our encounter last episode. We got ourselves a Spiritomb, and what else did we get? I can't remember what else we got last episode. Did we get ourselves a Victory Bell as well, I think, from uh, Evergrand City? Do we go this way? Oh, this looks like the right way. Don't know. I can't really see where we're going. Should we battle that guy? Probably should. Oh, we got a, we got a battle here anyway, so we'll battle this guy. We should be battling... Oh, Zorua. Cute. Hello, little, little brother or little cousin. Little sister, in fact. It's a female. Awesome. Alright, so let's battle this guy. Dragon types are the strongest Pokemon. Okay, so he's usually a dragon type trainer. He has a Fungus. Which is adorable. It's a tiny little mushroom bless. We're going to chomp it to death. What level is this guy at? 47. I feel like one crunch should take it out. Usually I'd be worried about effect spore. But randomized abilities mean we don't have to worry about that. It should. Wow. Didn't even go down in one hit. I thought Fungus was going to be uh, an easy one hit there. Because uh, it's a first stage evolution. Obviously it only evolves once. So maybe it's base stats are slightly higher than like things that evolve twice. But I, I thought we should have taken that down in one hit. But there we go. We do. I think we do need to train up our team. I did chat to some of you guys in the premiere chat in the last episode about potentially uh okay we get to climb up here potentially training up our team to like base level 50 um so that we could okay there's a double battle 
base level 50, just because that's the base level of the, um... That's the base level of the Elite Four. They start at level 50. So I think, depending on how long this episode goes, Ordino and Wingo. Okay, that's cool. That is absolutely fine. We're going to uh, Dark Void these guys with Nishal. And we're going to Volt Switch with Wingo. A uh, Volt Switch on the Wingo. So Dark Void should put them both to sleep. Um, but yeah, I, I was saying, like, depending on how long it takes us to get through here, um, we might we might just do some grinding at the end, battle some of the trainers and stuff. I don't want to run into the Elite Four unprepared, you know? Alright, so Volt Switch takes that guy out. Awesome. Now we want to have someone who uh, is gonna gonna benefit from the uh, from the level up, from the XP from Ordino. So we're gonna want someone, who, the guy on the lowest level, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's let's throw Blades in. I think Blades should be able to do some decent damage to Ordino. If TK doesn't take it on one hit, of course, which he probably won't. To be fair, Blades, Mega Horn, Ordino. But I don't think Crunch will take it out. I think Ordino is pretty damn tanky. Ooh. That's a little bit scary. Megahorn from Blades. Stab. Parental Bond. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at Blades. He did way more damage than Nishal. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. He's so strong. This is the first time you guys have got to see him in battle properly. But when I was training him up, I was like, oh, damn. This guy is... This guy is strong. All right, TK is good to level 49. Orky good to level 43. Awesome. Aeson, we don't care about Aeson. There we go. Blades is an absolute powerhouse, guys. You guys are gonna gonna appreciate Blades once we get into the uh, to the Elite Four, and like we actually have to use him. We are okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is where Wally the Wally fight is coming up now. I think. So let's um. Everyone is still fully healed. You know what we're going to do? We're going to sort out items because uh, we picked up the black glasses at some point. Which we can give to Nishal instead of Metronome. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Expert Belt would be pretty good. Let's give the Expert Belt to TK. Yeah. Um, so we got. Okay, so that is actually fine. Expert Belt on TK is good. He's got nice coverage. It's got three different uh, type moves, so Expert Belt should do good. All right, there's a Wally fight coming up towards the end here. Oh, there, we can actually get a TM by going up this waterfall, I believe, which is nice. Um, it's usually what TM is it usually? I don't know, but um, it should be a TM up here that we can pick up. So we've had the Tail Slap TM. Yeah, there it is. And this is Psy Wave. Okay, Psychic type uh, move, but it's not quite Psychic. Psy Wave, I think, is one of those moves. I say one of those moves. It's a move that has um, a random damage roll. Um, so it doesn't do like set damage, it's random damage. There's Wally. All right, the Wally fight. Here we go. Oof. Bet you must be surprised to see me in a place like this. I can't believe he's here and he's only... I think he only has like five Pokemon as well. Doesn't have a full team. Alright, what's he going to have? Let's hope he doesn't have anyone too strong, man. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this. Got a Limber up. And he has a Mega Pokemon as well. Star you. Good start. Good start. Nice weak start. We should be able to just crunch it down. What do you guys think about giving um, Ampharos... Oh, shit. Tightening its focus. Oh, has it got its focus punch? Okay, so we can just chomp that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So, um, because Ampharos only has Zap Cannon Volt Switch, um, I'm thinking about maybe switching Swoobat. That's a Psychic type, right? It's probably got a Fairy move, maybe. Um, I'm thinking about switching the Zap Plate to a uh, Wide Lens to increase the accuracy of Zap Cannon because Zap Cannon is only 50% accurate. And he can't learn the Thunderbolt TM, which is unfortunate. Okay, there we go. We should be able to take it out. It's faster than us, which is interesting. Oh, Mega Horn? That's super effective. Mm 
Here we go. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about switching out the zap plate with um, with wide lens, just because it only has zap cannon, which is very inaccurate. Uh, Async re level 25, yeah. Whatever. Uh, Volbeat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. Um, so Volbeat is... Is it bug or bug flying? Either way, I think we're gonna switch to TK just because he's the strongest. Usually I'd be like, ah, oh, Volbeat, easy. But these guys have dealt crazy damage to us. Uh, I think we'll just surf it. Actually, let's Calm Mind, see what it does, because then we, we have that special defense boost. And if he does hit us with a strong move, we can heal up and we still have the boost. Hammer Arm. Okay, so that should do neutral damage to us, and he should take Recoil. And that was a crit, too. So we can Calm Mind again here. And then we can heal up, because the Hammer Arm isn't going to do much damage to us. That was a crit. Um, so we're just going to boost up a little bit, and then we can start spamming Surf. Ah, uh, get wrecked! Get spiderwebbed, bitch. Magic Bounce is such a good ability. We're going to, like, really rely on that heavily in the Elite Four, I think. Right, that's three Calm Mines. That should be enough. So we can start spamming Surf here. Yes, easy. Hopefully he has a Mega that is weak to water. Or I guess Grass, because we have Grass Pledge too. Rapid Ash. Okay, yeah, we'll stay in. We'll go for the Surf. I don't know who his Mega is going to be. That's going to be interesting to see, because he should be randomized to a Mega. Poison Fang. Don't poison us. Surf should take it out. Awesome. Rapid Ash fainted. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what we would like to hear. TK grid level 50. Good, good. That's the base level we kind of want to be on before we go into the Elite Four, so. Charm screw level 50. Another one at the base level. Blades 43. Awesome. Ace and... Alakazam is his mega. Okay. We may have been able to take it out with uh, Nishal, but... Um... Okay, if he's got Focus Blast, we might be screwed here. Uh, we're gonna crunch though, because it's Alakazam's physical defense is poor. Uh, he's incredibly fast though. Focus Blast will maybe kill us. Aqua Tail. Okay, that's a physical move. It's not gonna do anything to us. And Crunch should take it out. Awesome. Wicked. That is great. Managed to get through that battle without losing anyone. Oh, I'm always worried about trainers with Megas because they could just have... Well, like we saw with Archie, you could have Mega Mewtwo. Ah! So close, Wally. One more Pokemon. You need to go catch yourself a full team before you start challenging the Elite Four, you know? Thanks for not holding back. And Gallade, everyone, thank you so much. Oh yeah, he normally has a Mega Gallade, but he had a Mega Alakazam. I'll give you this to keep. Does he give us... Oh, a Dawnstone. Okay, I mean, I don't think we have anyone who can evolve with it, but maybe if we get some more encounters at some point. Couldn't beat you this time, but we'll continue training. Okay, so I think we're almost out of uh, out of Victory Road here. What I'm going to do, though, is use Soft Boiled on TK. And then I'm going to... Okay, I didn't realize it used his own health. Uh, that's my bad. Um, and then we can use... I thought it would just heal them up and it would use PP, but... I know we're almost out, but I just want to be... I just want to be sure, you know? I want to be careful. We don't want to... don't want to mess up this close to the end. There we go. I should probably have looked up what Soft Boiled does uh, before just using it like that. All right, we're at the Pokemon League. Look at this, guys. We're here. We're at the Pokemon League. Entering Pokemon League. Center gate. Ooh, coming to the end, guys. We're coming to the end. This is nuts. This is nuts. Can't believe we've made it. And we've only had, like, 
only had a few deaths. So I think what we're going to have to do, we're definitely going to have to train up at least um, at least three other Pokemon to level 50. So let me let me take you through the team right now and the levels. So we can switch out a couple Pokemon. Well, we can switch out Aeson now. So Aeson is obviously not going to be on our main team. Oh yeah, let's check uh, Spiritomb. Adamant Water Absorb, and it's got Toxic Orb. So we'll take that item. We'll take the Toxic Orb. That could be a useful item to have. Spite, Spike Cannon, Charge, and Dazzling Gleam. That's a pretty good uh, pretty good Pokemon. It's got a Water Immunity, which would be good in double battles with TK, because of Surf. Adam in Nature ups his attack down special attack. Not bad, not bad. And we got Victory Bell, which has Marvel Scale. I think that is... Boosts defense if it has a status condition. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Although, his nature doesn't really help his defense much. Disarming Voice, Cotton Guard, Dizzy Punch, and Psy Shock. Not bad, not bad. So, what I'm thinking is either we go with... We go with Executor coming on the team. See what kind of... Um, it's got Psychic Stab, which is great. You might be able to learn Grass Pledge, uh, which would be amazing, obviously. Um... It's got filter, so it takes less damage from super effective moves. So I think this Pokemon could be really, really good for us. Or we could bring in Vanillish. Or we could bring back Sticky. There's a bunch of Pokemon we could have on our team here. I don't think Jumpluff is going to make the team, unfortunately. You're just a better fly a grass type. Um, so I don't know who should be our last member. I'm thinking Executor with filter is really good. Because he takes less damage from... Like, obviously, he's four times weak to bug, which is a big problem. But with filter, it might not be so bad. Um, I mean, obviously, we could bring him on top on the team, but I don't know about that. Is there anyone else? Like, we could obviously train Arceus all the way up to level 50 if we really wanted to. I'm not sure who the last member on our team should be. But basically, we've got three level 50 Pokemon. These three are all, are all solid. We don't really need to train them up anymore. Uh, we would do want to train up Ampharos. We do want to train up Scyther, for sure. Um, ideally, we'd get Scyther a physical uh, flying move instead of a um, special one. I don't think any of these Pokemon are going to get on the team. Um, Claydol, Gligar, Furret, so like They're all duplicate types. Like, we've got... like. So Gligar, duplicate type of Scyther. Claydol would be a duplicate type with Executor, if Executor comes on the team. Excuse me. Although a ground type would be great to switch into electric moves. Um, obviously Dragonair clashes with Kingdra. Sveal clashes with Kingdra. Dra like Axew clashes with Kingdra. Clashes with Kingdra. We have loads, we have way too many water types, it's nuts. Like, maybe Crocodile, but again, Crocodile clashes with uh, Nishal. We have lots of type clashes. I think, realistically, it's between, like, these three, maybe Arceus. I'm leaning towards Executor, to be perfectly honest with you guys. What do you guys think? Let me know. Because um, I don't think we're going to be taking on the Elite Four this episode. I think we're going to train up and then take them on next episode. Because the Elite Four is going to be tough. And we're going to try and get through the whole thing in one episode. So next episode could be the finale. It could be. Realistically, we could only have one episode left of this series. And I'm leaning towards adding Executor to the team, because it's only five levels to level 50. Um, let's uh, let's check if there's any TMs in this shop. I don't think there is any TMs in this shop. No. So, but we have a bunch of cash, so we're going to get a bunch of full restores. How many can we get? Let's get, like, half our money on full restores. Uh, we'll get some full heals. Where are the full heals at? There. We'll get like 15 full heals. And we'll get a bunch of max potions. And then we can spend another another little bit on uh, full restores as well. We'll get two more full, two more full restores. Uh, in fact, we're not going to get two more full restores because I misclicked. But I think we have like a nugget to sell, maybe. Got some stuff. Oh, yeah, there's the nugget. 
Sell the nugget. What does the sport ball do? Special Pokemon. Oh, that's the bug catching contest ball. Damn, I didn't I didn't check that. Yes, we got some good held items. Um, heart scale will be useful if you want to relearn a move at any point. Uh, oh, two big pearls. Nice. Sell two of those. Got anything else? Yeah, so this is the wide lens. I'm thinking about giving that to uh, Ampharos if, if Ampharos doesn't learn Thunderbolt or something more accurate than Zap Cannon. All right, I don't think we have anything else to sell. I think we're good there. So we'll use the rest of our money. Actually, should we keep a bit of money in case we want to buy TMs? Yeah, I think we'll keep some of our money in case we want to go back and buy some TMs. Um, so let's get... Let's get... Uh, no, not deposit. Let's get Executor out. Because I'm leaning heavily towards Executor. If you guys uh, would prefer to have Vanillite or Vanillish, sorry... Um, or Porygon 2 or someone else like maybe we could even bring like uh, Haunter or Spiritomb because Haunter will evolve into Gengar Gengar is Ghost Poison the, we don't have either of those on our on our team so Gengar could be good if we evolve the Haunter um, yeah let me know what you guys think at the moment though I think what we're going to do is heal up here so we can fly back and uh, go and take on some of those trainers that we missed in Victory Road. Because that's what's going to be important here. Um, and we're also going to switch. I don't know if we can switch train. Maybe what we should do is train up on wild Pokemon first. Because I don't know if any of these Pokemon... Okay, so let's put Primal up front. Put Nishal in second in case we run into a double battle by mistake. What item do we give Primal? That's the question. Uh, we can also check TMs. Let's check TMs to see if we can learn Grass Pledge. Uh, so we can learn Final Gambit. We really don't want to be learning Final Gambit. Uh, Blue Flare, Megahorn. Megahorn is such a good move. Cross Chop. Wood Hammer. So it can learn Wood Hammer, but he's more of a special attacker. Oh, we can learn Thunderbolt. Awesome coverage right there. Unfortunately, Ampharos cannot learn Thunderbolt. But I think TM compatibility is different to level up moveset. Um... Oh, I can learn Grass Pledge. Awesome. So we are going to use Grass Pledge IR on Primal. Because a stab, 80 power, 100% accurate move is going to be great. Uh, instead of... Hmm, we could get rid of Fissure. Oh, his special attack is negative on his nature. That's kind of annoying. Um, Fissure like, could get us out of a really sticky situation. But I would much rather the consistency of Grass Pledge... And like these two moves, like Rock Blast will be the next move we get rid of, maybe for Thunderbolt. Try Attack is great for potentially statusing Pokemon. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Fissure for Grass Pledge. There we go. All right. Uh, and then maybe Thunderbolt we give it as well. What else can it learn? Morning Sun could be good to give it too. Or Quiver Dance. Yo, Quiver Dance would be great. Quiver Dance could be really good on uh, on Executor. Um, or Synthesis could be also great. It's got, it can learn a lot of good moves. Let's let's just go and train some Pokemon up on Wild Pokemon for now. Uh, we're gonna have to obviously be careful. Oh, there's a Mega Stone. Hello. Just got Mewtwo Knight. Why? Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. So usually I would do this off camera, um, but we've only got a, like, the episode is uh, going to be like half an hour long, so we've only got a few minutes before we're finishing. So I might as well show you guys just a, a couple of levels up if we can. Um, in Victory Road, I believe they should be able to get encounters here, right? Or do we have to go down a level before we can get encounters? Probably have to go down a level before we get encounters. We'll just run around next to the ladder. Yeah, we'll just run here so we don't get too far away and get lost. So we're going to try and get a couple of uh, couple of levels. There we go. Hopefully we run into Ampharos' a lot because they're going to give nice XP. Garbodor is another good one that will give good XP. 
and Primal, although it is weak to Poison. Um, oh no, it's neutral to Poison, right? So Psychic should be uh, should be good against it. It's got Rage Powder, that's fine. Yeah, look at that, nice. I don't know whether we should turn XP Share off or not. Oh, I didn't give much XP, did it? Didn't give much XP. Unfortunately, you can't get a Lucky Egg in a randomized version of Oras because um, the normal way of getting a Lucky Egg in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is catching a Pelipper. Um, and because Pelippers like always hold Lucky Eggs, I think. And obviously, we can't get like guaranteed Pelipper encounters in this game. And also, we, we randomized held items. So, uh... All right, so I'm going to switch into TK here. We don't want to mess about with... Um, we don't want to mess about with risking too many uh, too many things when we're training up here. We want to be safe. We don't want to randomly lose a Pokemon. Relic Sun. So that's Meloetta's uh, signature move, right? Changes its form. Okay. He just weakened his own powers. TK gained that much, Primal gained that much. Okay, that's not bad. Monfanep was uh, was good XP. Garbodor, not so good XP. But yeah, if we could get a Lucky Egg, that'd be really good. But the problem is we can't, unless we get a Pokemon with Frisk and like just run around looking, we're not going to be able to know if a wild Pokemon... And we can't even catch him anyway. We want, we need a Pokemon with Frisk that can learn Thief. And then we could like just run into wild Pokemon. Until we know these Pokemon, until we know Infernape's moves, I think we're just going to keep switching. We could potentially switch into, uh, like, Ampharos or something. But for now, we're just going to keep TK. TK is going to get a couple of levels, which is unfortunate, but um, we don't want to be too overleveled for the Elite Four. But at the same time, I don't want to go in and, like, get wrecked because we only have, like, three useful Pokemon. Because remember, I think at level 50, um, trainer Pokemon are guaranteed to have, like, good moves. Uh, so that could be really dangerous for us if we're going in with Pokemon that are, like, level 40 or level... Was it 43, I think, Ampharos and, um, uh, and Scyther are? So we're going to want to level them up just a little bit. And I know usually I would do the grinding off-camera or, like, put a montage in, but... We finished the, the victory road and the Wally battle a little bit sooner than I would have thought. I thought that was going to be, like, the episode but I'm just too good. So, uh, Seed Bomb, that's not going to do too much. Good. Yeah, I think Executor is going to be the last member on our team. I know at the moment, uh, in the overlay, we've still got Vanillite, or Vanillish. Um, but by next episode, I will have decided whether I want Executor or Vanillish. And what I might do is train a bunch of Pokemon up to level 50, like a few extras from the PC as well. Um, like Gengar, for example, was a good one. Um, just to see like what they're going to be like. Because maybe Gengar's going to be OP. It might have like Wonder Guard or something. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I will probably do that. Um, so we'll get like Vanillish up to level 50 and it should evolve. Ugh, no, nice. That's why Tri-Attack is really good. Because you can like just get random freezes. So yeah, like exactly like Gengar or Vanillux after Vanillish evolves, like they could be really really strong and someone we definitely want on the team. So I might just come back off camera, run around, battle wild Pokemon until we have a bunch of people on level 50. And I, de I actually I will do that. And then next episode I'll show you guys all the new Pokemon, and uh, and then we can decide what we want on our team. Or well, I I guess I will decide what we want on our team. Um, Okay, so Florges might give some good XP here. It's Fairy Grass, right? So uh, we could Psychic or we could Try Attack. I think Psychic will do more. Oh, Quick Guard. Okay. Okay. Quick Guard, I think, uh, protects against status moves. Let's try a Try Attack, I suppose. Oh, it's using Coil. Okay, boosting his attack, defense, and accuracy, I think, is what Coil does. Here we go. I was right. I'm so smart. 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Which Pokemon would you paralyze? See, this tri attack is so good, man. tri attack is so good. Let me know what Pokemon you would like to see as the last member of our team. Ooh, Solar Beam. Get fully paralyzed next turn, maybe? Oh, we just, just killed it anyway. But yeah, let me know which Pokemon would you like to fill our team. So we're definitely going to have Nishal, TK, Ampharos, uh, Marwile, and Scyther. The last member of the team is up for debate. Do we get Vanillux after we evolve it? Do we bring in Executor? Do we bring in the uh, the Gengar? Like, let me know what you guys think, which will be the best addition to our team. But that is going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like down below. Comment with which Pokemon you want to see as the last member on our team, because we need to fill out our team with a good Pokemon here. Um, yeah, next episode will be tomorrow. It could potentially be the final episode of the series. So be there or be square. Until then, guys, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Goodbye.